Orthopaedic Research UK was set up by Mr. Ronald Furlong, an eminent orthopaedic surgeon in 1989. The vision of Orthopaedic Research UK is to eliminate bone and joint disease. And we do this through high quality research and education and training in orthopaedics. When you consider the burden of orthopaedic disease in the community, it's really high and it's set to increase because of the age of the changing population. It is calculated that about 40% of over 70s have some arthritic problems, which apart from being debilitating, is a disease that causes an enormous amount of pain. Orthopaedic Research UK fund research where there is a gap in traditional funding by large government bodies such as the EPSRC and the BBSRC. Many of the charities that have money to donate for research don't fund orthopaedics. So it is necessary and it's one of the few charities that gives money for musculoskeletal disorders. It's competing with heart disease and cancer. Those conditions are killers. Orthopaedic conditions generally don't tend to kill patients. However, the important point is that that can lead to a massive decrease in their lifestyle uh, and the ability to f for them to fulfil their life ambition. In 1985, I was enjoying the freedom afforded me as a 16-year-old on a motorcycle. Was on my way home late at night and got involved in a car accident. Along with having to have prosthetic limbs. I had the prospect of the damage to my hip having caused osteoarthritis and eventually knowing that I would have to have my um, left hip and eventually my right hip replaced. I remember Damien very well. I remember him coming into our patients. As a result of his injuries, he had a twisted back and he walked with a bad limp. I was able to suggest to him that he would be a good subject for a new type of hip replacement one that had been developed as a result of research which allowed the hip to be put into his body such that his body grew into the hip joint and became a biological bond. I spoke with the surgeon afterwards and I said so how long before I'm having this all done again? I was really pleased to be told that I shouldn't need to have it replaced, that the likelihood would be that it would last me the rest of my life. That was a real weight off my shoulders. The research that goes on in some of our laboratories here is associated with the London Implant Retrieval Centre. We have a program of research where we retrieve metal-on-metal -metal prosthesis which have been removed because they have been revised. And we investigate those to see why they have failed. This research is very important because it informs the surgeon, the patient and the development about uh, how not to do it in the future. I was born with a dislocated hip, which wasn't discovered until I was almost two years of age. I had my third hip replacement in December 2012, and it's absolutely transformed my life. I don't get any pain now, I'm able to go on the treadmill, I can walk for a lot longer. I think if the old hip had stayed in, I would have got progressively worse mobility-wise, and over time, I just don't know what, what would have happened. Orthopaedic Research UK receives many applications uh, when it puts out a call for research projects. They go through external reviewers and our own independent internal review panel. The value of an organisation like Orthopaedic Research UK is immense. To me as an individual it's changed my life. Thanks to them and the technology that they've developed I'm able to do the things that I've done. I'm quite proud to say that I've done a lot of things that able-bodied people find amazing. If people have orthopaedic problems and it's, it's restricting their lives, it's restricting their activities, to have more choice, new procedures, it's very important to move the research forward. And without that research, the type of hip replacement I have now may not be available. Orthopaedic Research UK wants to develop and become the leading charity in the field of orthopaedics research. It is a dream that we have and it is a dream that we are determined to pursue. 
Funding research in orthopaedics is, is very important. It's a problem that is growing in the NHS. In order to have a pain-free, mobile, older population, we need to make these advances. We, we haven't scratched the surface yet of, of what we need to do.